All right, hi everybody, welcome back. Crypto updates. All right, so this is about SEC charging Kim Kardashian for unlawfully touting crypto security. So my, for my influencers out there, this is very important. You gotta disclose what's going on. You can't just, can't just uh, pump and not tell anybody what's going on. So let's take a quick look at this. The Securities and Exchange Commission, that's the SEC, today announced charges against Kim Kardashian for touting on social media a crypto asset security, notice they are calling it a security, offered and sold by Ethereum Max, without disclosing the payment she received for the promotion. Kardashian agreed to settle the charges, pay $1.26 million in penalties, disgorgement, and interest, and cooperate with the commission's ongoing investigation. So the SEC is getting very serious now. We have the Ripple case uh, that I talked about. Is, is XRP a security? Was XRP sold as a security to pump up Ripple? Check out my videos. They're there. Um, the SEC order finds that Kardashian failed to disclose that she was paid $250,000 to publish a post on her Instagram about Emacs tokens, the crypto asset security being offered by Ethereum Max. Kardashian's post contained a link to the Ethereum Max website, which provided instructions for potential investors to purchase Emacs tokens. Okay, this, is, this case is a reminder when celebrities or influencers endorse investment opportunities, including crypto asset securities. It doesn't mean that those investment products are right for all investors, said SEC Chair Gary Gensler. We encourage investors to consider an investment's potential risks and opportunities in light of their own financial goals. So you can see they're really using the words investment and securities. Kind of makes me think that the, uh, the Ripple case is going to surprise some people here. Uh, Miss Kardashian's case also serves as a reminder to celebrities and others that the law requires them to disclose to the public when and how much they are paid to promote investing in securities. The federal securities laws are clear that any celebrity or other individual who promotes a crypto asset security must disclose the nature, source, and amount of compensation they received in exchange for the promotion. So that's, you know, that's a pretty hefty requirement to show um, what you're making. Um, but, uh, you know, the SEC is cracking down, enforcement actions, you can see, you can see what's going on here. Um, investors, uh, investors, once again, investors are entitled to know whether, a, whether the publicity of a security is unbiased, and Ms. Kardashian failed to disclose this information. The SEC's order finds that Kardashian violated the anti-touting provision of the federal securities laws. Anti-touting, how about that one? Without admitting or denying the SEC's findings, Kardashian agreed to pay the aforementioned $1.26 million, including approximately $260,000 in disgorgement, which represents her promotional payment plus prejudgment interest and a $1 million penalty. Well, of course, that's pennies in a bucket for some people, but that's a lot of money. Kardashian also agreed to not promote any crypto asset securities for three years. The SEC's investigation, which is continuing, is being conducted by a so, so, so. There's some names for you. The SEC statement urging caution regarding potentially unlawful celebrity-backed crypto asset offerings can be found here. There's a link. I'm not going to go to it now. Uh, SEC chair also get, published a video warning investors not to make investment decisions based solely on the re recommendations of a celebrity or influencer. So guys, uh, I sense, I don't know if you sense the same thing, there is a crap, uh, crackdown coming in crypto as I can see here, it's happening. Uh, the Ripple case is probably gonna be the next in line, but um, I think regulation is going to be coming and when I say regulation, I mean like serious where you really have to register and get yourself licensed, full disclosure. Um, you know, a lot of people are losing a lot of money. So anyway, that's my crypto report. Attorney Steve, if you need some help with crypto, I uh, have CryptoLitigation.io. That's CryptoLitigation.io. Have a great day. General legal information only. Not legal advice, not financial advice, not investment advice. Hey, hey, hey.